Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome to your pick a card reading. My name is Danielle. Uh, today's topic is messages from your person. So I'm going to be using the tarot cards to get maybe some thoughts and feelings, what's going on. We'll see whatever comes through. Um, and of course I will be using my actual message decks that I use for personal readings and I will be using the cue cards. So basically the, the one messages from the heart deck is my cue cards just put into an actual deck. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and keep the messages different for each group if possible, but there may be some duplicates. It is what it is. All right. So if I feel guided to pull some oracles, I will do so. I will also end with the astrology dice and the initials for extra confirmation. If uh, nothing resonates today, I do. I have done a few messages from your person's messages from your person readings in the past, so you can just scroll through the love reading playlist that I have and check those out, or you can check back at a later date if you feel guided to. Okay, so getting into your cards and crystals. Group one, you have the Transcendent Love Tarot with this uh, Phoenix point, or it's also called like the Quattro Quartz point. Very beautiful. Uh, group two, you have the Star Child Tarot with this Amethyst Cluster. I did clean it out recently because it does get a little bit dusty, but there may be a little bit left in there. Yeah. <laughs> so. And group three, you have the Gilded Tarot with this uh, Carnelian Palm Stone. All right. So you can choose based on the tarot deck or the actual crystal itself and or maybe you have multiple people on your mind however you like to choose okay so your timestamps are in the description box below which you'll have to scroll a little bit to find the timestamps are not right there at the top and I will see you guys at your reading hey group one you chose the uh, oh Jesus my own deck transcendent love tarot and the phoenix point or the quattro Quartz points. Welcome to your reading. I'll place it there. And let's dive in. I also forgot to mention if you would like to book a personal love reading with me, uh, there's two of them available in the description box where you can just go right to the reading itself. Check out what it has to offer, like what's included in the reading. Uh, if there's anything that's not included, like let's say you want me to, you want to know. You feel a deep connection with this person and you don't understand why and you feel like you've you're meant to do something together something amazing yeah you can ask that in the notes section it's no additional charge okay so for group one and the person on their mind what messages do they have what would they like group one to know at this time We have the Two of Cups, Three of Wands, High Priestess, The Fool. What would they like Group One to know? Four of Wands, King of Cups, The Hermit. And the King of Pentacles. Okay. Your person wants you to know that because of uh, this connection, they are feeling called to dive a little deeper within themselves. And at at first, they they felt like I want to say a little caterpillar um, 
things were new for them. They were young. They didn't know really what was going on, who they were at the time, uh, what they wanted in life, where basically they didn't have uh, an actual path that they were going on, no sense of purpose, that sort of thing. Um, a little confused, and they really may have been younger. But uh, now your person has had the opportunity, because of the connection with you, to do some inner reflection and really dive within and get to the, know themselves on a deeper level. And I feel like you have inspired this person to actually want to grow as a human being and also like find their purpose in life and what they're meant to basically what they're meant to do and um they're feeling very excited in the past yeah definitely unmotivated and now they actually want to go out and pursue their dreams pursue their goals and this all has to do with you. I also feel like they do feel chemistry and a connection with you. If the two of you have separated, this person wants to come back into like a union with you. They may feel a spiritual connection as well with the high priestess here. I feel like they, especially in times of total darkness and feeling alone, with the high priestess here, they feel like they are connected to your energy and that helps bring them peace. And they really want you to know this. And they they are hoping that you also feel their energy as well. And they want you to know that they are also sending you unconditional love and support in your life as well. They're thinking of you. And um, they are building a solid foundation within themselves really maturing and they want to have that solid foundation so they can come through with an offer for you and be someone that you can count on to be there for you in your time of need where the two of you build together and uh, possibly one day take this to the next level and even get married have a family all right let's see what else what else would they like group one to know? We have the two of swords, seven of wands, and the tower. Yeah, they want you to know they were really confused in the past, and at times they still are a little confused and they realize that they do have uh, some trouble letting people in they have some insecurities they really want to protect their hearts and but because of you and your connection you have inspired i want to say inspired a tower moment for them because they have changed for the better it was uncomfortable that but they realized the work that they needed to do and i feel like your person wants you to know that they are very grateful for the lessons that you've inspired them to learn <laughs> and uh they really want to say thank you because they're a better person even though they know that they're the ones that put in the work if it wasn't for you coming in and them meeting you they feel like they wouldn't be where they are today and they want to say thank you and now I feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> it's very sweet. And I feel like that's also why I mentioned in the beginning. Maybe, you, maybe you're wondering why you met this person. I feel like maybe that was a message coming through that your person was thinking of. Okay, so yeah, let's get some oracle cards if I can find my deck. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, you've really inspired your person to mature. So I feel like um, this person has become better because of you and this connection. 
if you, I'm going to say, if you know for a fact that your person hasn't improved as a human being, uh, and you're sitting here thinking, yeah, right, uh, <laughs> this group really isn't for you because this person has actually improved and they're expressing gratitude here. All right, so what else would they like group one to know at this time? We have numb, self-worth, and cleanse. Okay, yeah, your person has been numb in the past to their feelings, to who they were. They may have been doing certain having certain behaviors or doing certain things to numb out um, everything that they, they didn't want to face within themselves. I feel like in the past they felt like they didn't have a lot to offer and this is why like they didn't feel a sense of purpose or they didn't know where they were going, what they wanted to do. Um, because they, they had um, challenges with self-worth, but now they are cleansing this. They are feeling everything that's coming up. They're actually facing their shadow, uh, facing any insecurities and challenges head on, and they are growing in their self-worth. They're feeling more confident. And again, they really want to share with you how grateful they are to have met you and had this opportunity to really tap into their true potential. Okay, so let's see their messages for you. All right, what would group one's person like to say to group one right now if they could? You were my first love. I respect your decision. I plan to marry you one day. You have a beautiful soul. So this person has loved you all along. They recognize the beauty of your soul. They respect, um, even if, even though they have plans to marry you one day, if you were to say no and would like to say goodbye and put this connection in the past, they would respect that. I've never been loved like this before and it scares me. I'm just going to pull a bunch actually out of here. What would they like to, whoa, okay. <laughs> what would they like to say? All right, we have, I have daydreams about the proposal. I moved on thinking we will never be together. Now I'm confused. This reminds me of the Fool and the Hermit cards coming through where they're like kind of doing some soul searching, moving on. You may have walked away from this person and now they are thinking that in their doubts that you wouldn't be together even though they want to be. And now they're a little confused. Maybe it's been like years since the two of you have been together and all these thoughts, all of these emotions are coming up and it's causing some confusion here. I love your childlike energy. So they love uh, your playfulness, the way you express yourself. I keep seeing your name everywhere. Yeah, I feel like you may have inspired like some sort of soul-searching awakening. They definitely pick up on that. I play it cool, but I'm actually a mess. It's that numbed out feeling. I've been doing shadow work since you triggered me. I'm so very sorry. We have you're an angel. I'm manifesting you. Sorry things ended the way they did. Let's see how you triggered them. How did group one trigger their person? How did group one trigger their person? Death. 
they've had a complete transformation here with Scorpio energy coming through there. Yeah, they've... Uh, Ten of Swords. Yeah, you may have been the one to walk away, but there was a painful ending here. We have two cards of ending with the Death card and the Ten of Swords, uh, but they have had a, per, um, a huge transformation happen. Okay, let's get some more messages. What does Group 1's person want to say to Group 1? How are you able to see past what I've done and still love me? I've asked a tarot reader about you. I was foolish to pretend I didn't care. Then we have, I can't face you after everything I've said. So they have said some things to you that they deeply regret. I feel like this is why all this apology is coming through. And this could be why uh, you walked away. Okay, we have that coming through. What else? What would they like to say? What would they like to say? Okay. I'm constantly receiving signs from the universe. I believe we were destined to meet. Label it however you want. Soulmate or twin flame. I know you are my person. And... Last but not least, we have you. I know you have no idea how easily you could break my heart. I feel like this is why your person has their defenses up. Because they know you mean a lot to them. And I feel like out of everyone they've ever been with, you are the one that, in their eyes, truly holds the key to their heart. The one that could break their defenses down, break their walls down, and... You are the one they want to express their vulnerability to. And they know that does scare them. And uh, they know how much they would hurt if they were to, uh, if you were to break their heart. All right, so let's get some signs and houses. Okay, we have, I believe that's Aquarius, and now I'm drawing a blank. The two squigglies here. Is that Aquarius? <laughs> I want to say it's Aquarius. Yeah, it's Aquarius, okay. Uh, we have Leo. Happy birthday, Leo. My last reading, I kind of messed up. We had just left cancer season. And I think it's because I kept like pulling cancer sign and seeing cancer, cancer this, cancer that everywhere. That just, yeah. We have Gemini. And we have first house Aries. So Aquarius, Leo, Gemini, Aries. T E O. I'm getting Theo might be a name. And teen, you may have known them since you were a teen, or maybe you are 18 or 19. We have C. I. R. E, U, U, <laughs> A, they care about you. I'm also seeing cone. Maybe somebody likes to eat ice cream cones. I, J, we have Jen, Joan, June. Someone was born in June, Gemini season. A, Jane and Jan. O, N, another C, 
and O. I'm also seeing tone. Maybe somebody here is very fit. And then shape loves uh, fitness. All right, so that is what I have for you, group one. Uh, pretty short and sweet. And yeah, if it didn't resonate, choose one of the other piles and subscribe if you enjoy love and relationship readings. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm wishing you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, you chose the Star Child Tarot with this um, amethyst cluster. Welcome. I'm just going to place it over there, and let's dive in. So these readings are pretty short and sweet so far. Um, but we're just getting started. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, there's two links to my readings in the description box. There's also a link to my website as well. Okay. So what is group two's person's messages for group two? What would they like to tell them? What would they like them to know? This could be anything from thoughts and feelings, whatever's on their minds. First off, we have Queen of Swords. The Lovers, Gemini energy coming through. We have Serenity, which this is, what are you? I believe that's the, yeah, that's Hermit, which is Virgo. We have two uh, cards ruled by Mercury here. And we have the Three of Swords. Okay, what else would they like to tell them? What would they like to tell them? We have the Three of Crystals. Perspective. It's the Hanged Man. We have the Nine of Swords. It's a lot of air energy coming through here. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And we have the Two of Crystals. Okay. So your person, um, I feel, still feels connected to you. Uh, they feel, they still feel a strong bond. They want you to know at times they are missing you and they're still, they are still hurting. They're in a lot of pain right now. Um, I feel they want you to know that this has been keeping them up at night. They haven't been able to sleep well. They are... They do want to communicate with you. They want to um, offer up some sort of, I feel like peace offering is what's wanting to come through here. So maybe they said something here, but they're the ones that are heartbroken. Maybe you're both heartbroken. You're, feel, you're feeling this. You're picking up on each other. But uh, yeah, your person is really, I feel like having a lot of anxiety too about coming forward and communicating with you. They're so right now they're kind of just holding back um, rather than taking action. They're trying to figure out weighing their options and how to go about doing this, how to come back and uh, maybe even fixing or working on this situation with you, working on this connection. I feel like they do want to try again. Well, your person's... Um, really in their head right now more so than their emotions i feel like they actually did you wrong and they're doing some self-reflecting here when it comes to what what they've done where their part has taken place in the falling out of this connection so i I do want to clarify the two of crystals here. 
Clarify the Two of Crystals. I'm getting that they, they're saying they need to get their priorities uh, in order straight before they come forward. Seven of Swords. The Six of Cups. Okay, they secretly miss you. They're secretly missing you is also what they want to say. Um, even though they're working on a few things, getting things in order, because that is the message that was coming through. Uh, they they secretly want you, they want you to know that they're secretly missing you, thinking of you. And they do want to fix this. But right now they're, uh, something's going on here that's, Maybe taking their time. I also feel like they're stalling a little bit because they're stuck in that those fears and anxieties from coming forward and actually making amends. Okay, what else do they want to say to group two? The Ace of Wands. Eight of Crystals. Okay, yeah, they definitely want to, they want you to know that they want to, they're ready to put in the effort. They want to um, reignite the spark between the two of you because they, they're still feeling it and they, they're wondering if you're still feeling it too. And then we have the Eight of Swords, but they're, they're scared. And this is why they're holding back a bit is because of the fears. This is why they're having trouble sleeping is because they're having all these fears and, you know, their mind saying things to them, you know, putting, planting some doubts there that they need to work through before they come through and communicate. So, but yeah, they are definitely in more thinking of this in the logical sense than tapping into their heart space. I feel like your person is, um, they may even be an air sign or they may just be the type of person that thinks more logically than emotionally. So let's see what else wants to come through. Okay. What do they want group two to know? We have victim. Yeah, that's that eight of swords energy. Divine masculine. This could be your divine masculine. Maybe you're the divine masculine. And we have patience. Someone in this connection struggles with patience. I'm just going to say that. It could be your person. could be you. Maybe you're getting tired of waiting for your person. And you're thinking of moving on. Which is perfectly okay. There, there's We really don't need to sit around and wait for somebody to live our lives. We can go live our lives if they show up. If they come back. Great. If you choose to acknowledge this connection when they do come back that's perfectly up to you uh but yeah you don't need to sit around and wait for them for sure you, you know go have fun go go out with your friends if you want to date that's fine if you want to just you know go travel somewhere go see a movie go go to dinner at a fancy restaurant without them that is okay um let's clarify victim I feel like this victim card is them just really being stuck in their head right now. Okay, too many cards coming out. Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're struggling with self-worth. They have you on a pedestal and they're not feeling like up to par with you. Yeah, and we have the Eight of Swords again. They're really... Um... What I'm hearing is why would Group 2 want me back? Why would they want me back? That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So let's see their messages to you, what they'd like to say. First one, you are my soulmate. I have always loved you. I need to figure things out. Yeah, that's that two pentacles coming through. 
I'm not ready for commitment. And that could be what they're figuring out here. It's if they come back. They may know you want a commitment. And that may have been uh, the straw that broke the camel's back was commitment. And they need to work that out. And that, or that could have been what happened in the past. And they're figuring things out right now. Okay. What else would they like to say? I did just have one drop. Let me just quickly grab it. All right. So the one that fell on the floor is there is a lot I haven't told you. You have no idea how stunning you are. You are. We have, I've never felt this comfortable around anyone else. I see your growth, keep growing, keep going, <laughs> keep growing. Uh, I'm uncertain how, of how you feel about us. We need to stop hurting each other. I have conversations in my head with you. Let's go move this out of the way. I've been burned too many times. I just don't feel good enough for you. Yeah, that was definitely what I was picking up on. Some of you, your person feels comfortable. I also feel like they, at times, are back and forth with, oh, yeah, I feel comfortable. And then they don't feel good enough. It's like, okay, you know, figure out what's going on there. I can feel your energy pulling away from me. I will never give up on us. You belong with me. Yeah, let's get a few more here. What else would they like to say? What messages do they have for group two? Okay, two more want to come out. I feel very protective of you. There's a big decision I need to make. Give me time. Feel that is they're getting their priorities and check there. I wasn't thinking clearly. I feel scared to open up my heart. And we have I want to tell you everything. There's a lot that I haven't told you, and I want to tell you everything. So they know they are scared to let people in at times. Uh, they're a little scared of commitment here, but they want to. They feel that they can tell you, even though. They have some fears. It's that victim coming through. All right, what else do they want to say? I fantasize about you constantly. Are you able to forgive me? I know by the time I figure this out, you may not be available. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, you don't have to wait around for this person. Definitely, I don't recommend waiting around for anybody. You know, go live your life. It's not that you have to completely move on from this person and don't give a flying F about them. Uh, it just means, you know, we're you're going out and having fun too. You have a life. You have a purpose. I'm so grateful that I met you. And this message... Uh, this was a strong message coming out in group one, so maybe there's messages there for you. That group may resonate more for you. Okay, let's see. We have Capricorn coming through. We have second house, which is Taurus. Uh, Capricorn again. And 11th house, uh, Pisces. Nope. Aquarius. Yes, Aquarius. Okay. 
Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Aquarius. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get some initials. I'm seeing the word dork. Maybe someone, like, maybe that's like a little playful name that you would call each other, dork. <laughs> we have ENC, K. Uh, either attracted to your neck or you're attracted to their neck. A. C. R. A R Y D Sing D or uh, Dear O, Roy, V, uh, what else do we have? N, G, we have Grace, Gracie. Gray, another O, I'm seeing the word cook, that could be somebody's last name, maybe even C-O-O-K-E, uh, we have L, love, I'm getting loving but we don't have an I yet, we have R, and O. All right, those are the initials that I have for you. I, you know, what else do we have here? Let me see. Carrie. Nancy. Casey. Someone may have a dog or loves dogs. Um, Again, I was saying dork, so that could be like a playful name that you had for each other. Uh, I'm also seeing drool. <laughs> Dog drool. Um, uh, we may have some religious folks. God. Uh, what else? There's Larry. Uh, Kyle. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. All right, so that is what I have for you, group two. Uh, let me know if you see anything else in the comments. I do see some other things, but I'm not going to mention them. But yeah, I'm sure you pick up on them too. All right, so uh, thank you so much. Subscribe if you enjoy love and relationship readings. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group three, you chose the Gilded Tarot. Whoops, let me get group two's cluster out of the way here. And the Carnelian Palmstone. Welcome. I find today that the reading is basically just short and sweet. So if nothing resonates, check out one of the other groups. If you would like to book something personal with me, there's two links to my love readings in the description box, which you can check out. There's also a link straight to my website. Although I haven't updated it in a while. Up, oh my goodness updated my website in a while so uh, when you first log on there it's uh, it doesn't really fit the whole tarot reading situation because at one point I was offer offering spiritual coaching and Reiki healings uh, which I no longer do currently so yeah it doesn't really make sense. <laughs>
<laughs> I have to update it. So I, I would just recommend clicking on the links straight to the readings. All right, hold on. Sorry, I just got interrupted there. Youngest asking for Nutella. All right. Okay, so group three, what messages does your person have for you? What, they, what did they want to know? What are they thinking and feeling at this time? Or what do they want you to, did I say? What do they want you to know? Yeah, okay. Apparently, group three, you're the one where I'm all over. Maybe your person's thoughts are all over their thoughts and feelings. Or it's just me. Okay. For group three, what does a person want them to know most? What are their messages for group three? We have the six of wands. Uh, that would be the fool. Ten of swords. Justice, Libra coming through. The Tower. We have Mars energy with Aries and also Scorpio. We have the Chariot with Cancer energy. Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Hold on here. Let me just. All right. I just saw an image that I need to uh, quickly cover up. Just give me one moment. All right. There we go. It's so small. I didn't even notice it with my reading glasses. <laughs> oh, I really need to get my eyes checked. Okay. So. Group three. Um, all right, let me just sit with this for a second. Okay, your person is, I feel like has uh, a bit of, a bit of a bruised ego right now. They're not, uh, they're going through a hard time and they really feel like they need to make things right with you. Now, I don't know if this has to do with you or something else that's going on in their life, um, but I feel like they were dishonest with you in the past and they're really feeling the, the coldness that is coming from you like they feel your energy pulling away um where all this person now all they want to do is rush towards you and i feel like it's because they feel like they're losing you now whether or not they are that's really up to you but from their perspective perspective they actually feel like a literal fool with the fool card like they have completely screwed something up but they're trying to put on like this false mask with the six of wands that everything's okay that they're doing fine but in reality um they're actually not and they're actually there's moments where I feel like your person has trouble getting out of bed so they kind of need to pump themselves up because they're they're feeling heavy they're feeling sad and they're really needing to find the willpower to push through their ego and actually come through with the truth. So I want to clarify the justice here quickly. Why is justice here? Five of Wands. Eight of Swords. Okay, they're having doubts 
with coming through with the truth or like completely conflicted of whether or not to actually tell you something. I, whatever it is, I feel like it's important or at least it's important to them. Uh, let's get one more. Yeah, it's their feelings. I feel like they haven't actually been honest and open about how they truly feel about you. And they they feel ridiculous is what I want to say. Clarify the tower. And they feel like they've lost you. Page of Wands. Yeah, because they want to communicate this with you. And I feel like they wanted to tell you, but they were a little immature before. Yeah, they were back and forth whether or not to tell you. And now they're conflicted. They're they know that they need to balance their energy before actually coming through. They need to sit with what it is that they want to say to you. I feel like um, the loss of you really shook up their life. Yeah, it's, uh, it's painful. But they're putting on a face like they're okay. But actually, they're not. Okay. All right. So if you've been checking their social media and they've been posting pictures of them smiling with friends, selfies, you know, out to brunch with the family and, you know, they have this giant ear to ear smile on their face. Uh, that's just for show. I feel like they're actually hiding their pain here. Okay. What else? We're the world. Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, your person really want, works the <laughs> wants to work on their commitment with you. They feel like you are their worlds. Um, but it feels incomplete without you. And I feel like they've actually really taken. They want you to know that they've taken this connection or you your relationship for granted in the past and they deeply regret it. They're kicking themselves for it actually because they, they're recognizing they had a good thing or the potential for a great thing here and so they ruined it. They didn't confess how they actually felt. I feel like this person has a hard time opening up when it comes to their emotions, expressing their emotions. They might not be the lovey-dovey, touchy-feely type. Um, but they do have depth to them. It's just they don't show it very often, if at all. And now they're realizing. And if some of you have been like doing inner work on yourselves and actually pulling yourself away, um, they are picking up on this. The more you love yourself, the more that the other people are attracted to you and this is not like oh go love yourself to manipulate everybody so that they come back uh, you really honestly want to love yourself because you are worthy of love of course all right so let's see what else I'm also getting with the world card here that they feel that even just to have closure in this, if you don't want to move forward, forward with them, they do need to at some point express honestly their feelings and how they felt about you before they can actually move on. Like they feel like they can't move on until they actually express this. Oh, I just threw one on the ground here. Hold on. All right, what do we have here? We have vulnerability, fall. So fall or autumn, depending on what you call it, may be significant. And we have family. So your person does want to be vulnerable with you. Um, with a family card, this is like commitment. They feel like they can they can see a family with you.
And for some of you, they may even come back in the fall. Or in autumn, depending on where you are in the world and when you're watching this. If you're watching this when it comes out, this is, um, we're still in summer here. So in a couple months, we will be in fall. All right, so let's get some messages. I don't know what she's drinking there, but it looks very, might be like apple cider or something, I don't know, but it looks good. what they want to say to you and the first one that came through is I don't know what to say <laughs> okay I made a mistake you're special to me I need to deal with me first I feel like that was a big theme coming through uh, in the overall reading for all groups And this could have been something that they said in the past and now they're realizing they may have been a bit selfish with them like backing away. Um, they may have used that as an excuse, but I feel like before they come through, they actually do need to deal with whatever's going on. The whole reason why they walked away before. What else do they want to say to group three? It's good. One or two more cards. Okay. Can we sneak away together? Can we please move on from the past? So they have a lot of questions to ask you, apparently. I want to hold your hands. I feel so this person wants to speak with you in private. Do you have somebody else on your mind? I made a list of songs that remind me of you. You are perfect to me. Am I too late? I've tried to numb out the pain. You bring out my softer side. Your laugh lights up my heart. I'm seeing you in a new light. If I showed up at your door, would you turn me away? I imagine having kids with you. Okay, let's see what else wants to come through. Oh, I have a sneeze that's wanting to come through. <laughs> Maybe your person has allergies or cold right now. All right, what else do they want to say to group three? Hmm. You thought I wasn't listening, but I heard every word. So if you were like, oh my God, are you even listening to me? Are you paying attention? Have you even heard anything I said? They're letting you know they've heard you. Uh, I don't feel ready for commitments. Didn't I come through? Or is that a different group? Uh, I just want to be open and honest with you. I needed to learn how to love myself and that's like that whole I need to deal with me first. They may have actually had to learn how to love themselves. Maybe this is something you're also doing, uh, putting yourself first. What else do they want to say? Okay, that one just flipped out. Okay, these two want to come through. 
All right. I thought a lot about what I would say to you, but anxiety consumes me. I can't bring myself to face you right now. You inspire me to be the best version of myself. I never meant to hurt you. I was just caught up in my own mess. And then last but not least, we have, I was instantly drawn to you from the moment we met. All right, so those are the messages I have for you. Let's get some zodiac signs for extra confirmation. Okay, we have second house Taurus, we have Cancer, uh, ninth house Sagittarius, and Virgo. I'm seeing the word love in the tiles there. So let's get a couple more. I feel like group two had more initials on me. Okay, that is plenty. I'm also saying the word stove. <laughs> Somebody loves to cook. S O L. Maybe here, somebody here likes to solve puzzles or like little mysteries. Could be something that the two of you like to do together. Uh, we have another O. R. E. M. They're dreaming of you. We have X. L. Maybe somebody likes uh, the band R.E.M. I believe from the 90s. I don't think they were from the 80s, but definitely the 90s. Or maybe that's just when I'm used to them from the 90s. Uh, we have Blank Tile. I'm seeing the name Lauren. Maybe even Lorne for a guy with F. Oh, Fox. <laughs> they think you're a fox. Seeing solo, or single, somebody's single here. Another N, T. Some of you may be from Ontario. Hello, fellow Ontarians. We have P, R, M, prom. Maybe you went to prom with them. Someone here wants to be a doctor, and we have J, so JT or TJ, seeing John, so it could have some Johns or Jonathan, uh, Joel, Jolene, hmm, let's see what else. Saying the word Monday, Monday be maybe spe specific. You may have a son with them, or somebody here may have a son. Lemon, lemons <laughs> may be significant. Someone likes lemonade. Uh, could be your ex. I was picking up on that, but that just could be like somebody you never really got started with as well. Uh, what else? I think I'm, I'm seeing Dawn as well. London. Maybe here's someone's here. The Oh my goodness, I can't talk. London, Ontario, <laughs> uh, London, England. I'm pretty sure there's so many Londons out there. When you type in like certain cities and stuff, they're like all over the world. So, uh,
yeah, I'm just, you know, I, I'm just going to leave it there because apparently I can't talk anymore and I'm, yeah. <laughs> so let me know if you guys see anything else in the initials and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy love and relationship readings and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.